KMC Media here. Today we are exploring what it's like to have dietary restrictions on a college campus. At Furman University, students can choose to eat at the Charles E. Daniel Dining Hall, an all-you-care-to-eat facility, the Paladin Food Court, Einstein Brothers Bagels, or the Paddock, an on-campus restaurant, are other options as well. Today we will talk with Ivy, who has a gluten intolerance and is also a vegetarian. We'll talk with Zelia, a severely picky eater, and lastly, Sam, an international student from Vietnam. Furman Dining Services have invested a lot of time and money in recent years to cater to varied student palates and needs. However, each student has their own experience with campus dining options. Hi, my name is Ivy Loftus. I am gluten intolerant and I'm also a vegetarian. The dining hall for me is a little bit harder, I'd say, because of those restrictions. Um, I don't have that much of an issue as many people would think that I would as when I go into the dining hall, just because like they have a salad bar, a stir fry line, omelet bar, sandwich bar. So like there's a lot of different things that like I can have and I've learned to like become accustomed to my restrictions. Last year, I would say it was a lot harder than it is this year because they didn't have the gluten-free section that they do this year. So they didn't have any kind of like breads or gluten-free rices or anything that like we could have. So like pretty much I was stuck with either the stir fry line or the salad bar pretty much at every meal. So it just got pretty repetitive for me. Hi, I'm Delia Ramon and most of my friends would say that I'm a picky eater. While I'd like to disagree with them, I actually really am. I do not like eating in the dining hall or the P-Den really. I still have like 100 swipes left, 200 P-Den points. The dining hall is not my favorite place to eat. When you go get fruit, it's just sitting in juice. A lot of the time the apples are mushy. So I usually end up, if I make a sandwich, I panini it to get all the germs out of it. Or I'll go make a bagel because I know that they're not from the dining hall, or granola, or cereal. So in the beginning of the year, I will admit that I thought the dining hall was stepping it up a little bit. So I decided that I was going to try a piece of chicken and eat normal food with all of my friends for dinner. But when I got the chicken, I started cutting into it. It was all pink, it was kind of chewy, so while they all like went and found something else to eat, there wasn't anything else I would eat there, so I ended up eating peanut butter and chocolate chips and granola for dinner. When the dining hall doesn't work out for any meal, I usually go back to my room and make like oatmeal or some, some ramen noodles just in the microwave. Sometimes I'll have a really late breakfast or dinner at Einstein's. Um, sometimes I'll go to the P-Den, but not that often. So I usually eat limited amounts during the day, or at random times, really. Hi, my name is Sam Christian Can. I'm from Vietnam, so American food is really diverse to me, but I definitely encounter some um, typical American food that I heard about from the media um, before I came here, like burger, pizza, fast food, fried chicken, sweet tea. Mm -hmm. So for and dining services, um, I like it so far. I knew that they uh, made an attempt to make the food better over time. And you know, the food compared from my freshman year to my junior year has been tremendously different. So I appreciate that. And they also attempt to um, replicate some of our food, like food from China. So I got to try like a lot of different food from different cultures um, and the Chinese food that they make is quite good. Yeah, they have the Mongolian grill which has a lot of rice and vegetable in it if you put it in. So yeah, it's quite like what I eat at home, like a lot of rice and a lot of vegetable. I bought a lot of food from Publix and buy them. Every, every weekend and then I cook myself so I got to cook the things that I love at home but I also have one meal in DH every day so it's kind of balanced out. So if I got to change one thing in the DH, um, I think that I would 
make it open for students to um, give feedback and do their own recipes, maybe some competitions, hands-on experience about making food. Because I know that a lot of people want to contribute ideas to um, the air mark and they haven't been able to do that. So if the dining service can do that, it's going to be great. As you can see, students have different perspectives about Furman's dining services. Whether you're gluten-free, picky, or coming from a completely different part of the world, if you search hard enough, Furman can provide you with many different dining options.